Kevin, has, uh, has Maurice these past couple games played as well as the stats indicate, do you think? Uh, I think he's a guy that's uh, uh, really focused right now. Um, he wants to be a good player. Uh, he wants to be a productive player. Um, he wants to learn all the the, the, um, the details of the position. And uh, the last couple of weeks, he's been productive and done a great job with that. Now, the thing we got to do is be consistent because we need guys to step up and make explosives. And I think that's where we're, we got to do a better job of is being explosive. And he's a guy that can do that. How do you do that? I mean, how do you get? get well, those uh, I, think, I think I think you you, you uh, put him in that's what those situation in practice, and uh, then you know. Uh, the talent has to show, and then you got to go make a play. You got to, you know, when you're in an individual battle, and uh, when that time comes, you just got to step up and make a play. Are the younger guys suffering from maybe a lack of experience, which leads to a lack of confidence? Well, I think that no question. Um, you know, repetition it, it helps all of them. And uh, but hey, you know, I tell them they're not freshmen anymore. They got a couple games under their belt. They've been in big stadiums. They've been in big time games, so they know what it takes to to play the speed of the game. Um, it's all about consistency. And uh, uh, we got to, you know, as a coach, I got to try to keep it simple, coach harder, coach better, and uh, get these guys to play fast on Saturday. Are they losing confidence in themselves at all? Oh, no. I don't think it's confidence. I don't think they're losing confidence. I think they're just seeing different things week to week. And um, they got to just stay within their fundamentals and assignments and execute at a high level. What Syracuse doing well defensively this year? It seems like they've taken some strides. Well, uh, you know, they're, they're a veteran up front. Uh, I think all four are back. They got three in the back end that's back. And they have a freshman, a true freshman, playing free safety that's leading them in tackles and interceptions. And uh, he's playing real well right now. Uh, so they're playing with confidence. And uh, uh, we're going to, I'm sure they're going to come in here and challenge us just like any other team any other week. Um, you know, we, our job is to uh, go out and win. Other than Maurice and Tazier, or anybody, in, or maybe Raphael, is anybody really uh, separating themselves from the, from the posse? Well, I think uh, uh, the young man, uh, Shockey, I think he's you know, doing a real good job. And uh, uh, he's playing fast, he's productive, he's fast, he's quick. Uh, he's a guy that we're looking forward to, to seeing what he can do in a game type situation and, and uh, create a big time play. How has he kind of made the leap from high school ball coming straight into? Playing this well, level, I think, I think the biggest thing is he's a competitor, and like I said, he's another guy that wants to wants to learn. Uh, he's not, uh, uh, you know, hadn't seen a whole lot of things, you know, at this, you know, at, at this point in time. But uh, with, like I said, just trying to keep it simple and uh, get him to play fast. Almost halfway through the year now, do you guys have to worry as an offense about some of the stuff you put on film in terms of telegraphing things? The one guy from. UCF linebackers said they were able to pick up some stuff on film that they used in, in the game to make some plays. Do you yeah, have to? I'm not aware of that, but what I think what, what we're doing is trying to keep, like I said, keep everything simple, execute our fundamentals, and uh, if there are tails, we want we don't want to give those tails. But uh, it's just about assignments, being assignment sound, and, and going out and execute.